Only like one of the Kalu cannot be missing. And we, and we the Igbos, we sit in, we sit and let's say go outside to vote. Vote for what? You see, if, if they want us to vote, those people that lost their lives in the village of Una de Kalu, let them go and compensate them equally. No one saying vote, vote. Vote for what now? Are you voting for, for freedom or for what? As Una de Kalu must come back, we see him with our eyes. Then, then it will give us the courage to vote. Those people voting, they are not the youth. This country needs you to talk. First of all, to start with, I'm not from Anambra, I'm a free born of human state. But in the regions of the whole Nigeria, what Nigeria means and what the region means, there was no region in Anambra state, whether they like it or not. When we are trying to get our own state, there's, when we are trying to get our own state, there is time, there is time for it. But now, nah, there must be a detention in Anambra State. Thank you very much, sir. I'm an engineer of Anambra State. Um, coming to that gubernatorial election that will take place on 18th of November this year, uh, my take on this, sincerely, I don't really think that the Anambra State gubernatorial election is going to take place. Because... One, looking at the look, looking at the big big men or big politicians involved, likes of uh, likes of um, what's it called um, Tony Woye, likes of Weseloka and uh, the incumbent governor in place, uh, I I think that it's going to be a blush here because of the IPOBs involved and other fractional parties that's going to spring up that day. So my take on this is. The good Anambrarians, they should support. They should support the the the, the government of Abga, which is uh, um, Governor uh, Willie Obiano. Then they should support him for not constituting any nuisance in society because of blood shares. I'm asking people to come and vote, and in as much as they will come and vote, that they should even make sure that. Their vote is being counted. They should come out and vote on Saturday. They should do their rights. They are Nigerians. So they can't just say they will sit at home and not come out to vote. Because when they vote, when the election takes place on Saturday, when they vote, I, I'm sure that our Nigerian now, our, our, our politicians now, they are, they, are, they are becoming good. And I know that they are good, the vote is going to be counted in that state. You know, if they sit at home now, They'll be deprived of their, they are even their children, they are coming to them. They'll suffer it. But when they come out and vote now, hey, when the governor entered, that's why it will arrest the commission, all those works, all those money will come out. I don't see any reason why they should not vote. I see no reason why they should not vote. And we don't want a situation whereby the federal government will declare public, uh, declare state of emergency in Anambra state so they should go and vote the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable yeah they should go and vote well, my advice is simple Anambarians should vote in oncoming election in Anambra state because it's very pertinent and their vote we count because that is where they will elect somebody who will lead Anambra to a better height therefore Nobody should listen to anybody who is saying a different thing altogether. Election is a base by which you vote for people who can lead you. And we need dedicated, honest, modest young man in Anambra State. You know, a man with meekness and integrity who can, you know, paddle the governmental affairs of Anambra State to a greater height. It all depends. The pursuit of Nam de Carlo is a reality. Because the Igbos have been marginalized, have been marginalizing. They have been marginalizing the Igbos. Notwithstanding, you know, uh, election of a thing is a civil right. Nam de Carlo may decide that, he may suggest on his own opinion that people should not vote. It is your right. If you feel like going to vote, you can vote. If you feel like not voting, you can sit at home. Even in this Lagos, it is not everybody that goes to vote on a voting day. Understand what I'm saying? So it all depends on what you want. The voting of a thing is not the issue. The if issue is this. The vote doesn't count. That is why people even decide to sit at home. People might go out, stay in the sun and rain. After voting, they will come there and manipulate the results 
and do whatever they like. So Nigerians are tired of their voting of a thing. That is the issue. Understand what I'm saying? Eh? Unless maybe proper measures have been taken. The voters, when they come out to vote, their vote, votes will count. That is when people will have the urge to come and vote. You can't just tell me that on a Saturday, somebody will come out from morning to night after exercising his right or her right. A group of people will just enter there, they do whatever they like, manipulate the results. When you go to some vote for some uh, polling booths, you see a number of people supporting a party. At the end of the day, when the result comes, you see the different thing altogether. So it doesn't encourage people to go out to vote. That was why, if you ask me, that may be the reason why even Igbos doesn't like to come out to vote. That is the reason, because their vote has not been counted. There is nothing like a number of election. Our leader, Nam Dekano, have by called the election. People should stay at home. No need any election in Anambra State. Yeah, because we want to have a freedom in Biafra land, okay? On Saturday, you sit at home. We call it open Saturday. Stay in door on that day. Don't go anywhere. If you want to kill yourself, you go out. But if you don't want to kill yourself, stay in your house. For I've been voting for many years. What did you see? Nothing, nothing. So why must we go again to vote? We don't need to go there. So uh, we are annoyed. In fact, I'm annoyed. For people to go. Uh, my opinion is that I cannot say let the election no start. If they want to do election, let them do election in the normal way, suppose. Without doing the election, if without election can make this country do okay, let them go ahead. But they know that even election, no election, eh? now we say we will still do on fire. You understand now? As our president do on the seat now, without election, how the man will complete his own uh, destiny? So you better let them do the election. So make we know whether this country will change. IPOP is a non-violence organization, as I, as, I, as I know them. They cannot come. See, they, they don't have any ammunition on their hand to fight. So are you going to fight the people that has uh, all the ammunition on their hand? No. They, not, they cannot come to fight anybody. But what, uh, what I know is that the election might... Uh, uh, no, 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 not violent. Maybe there may, may be not much turn up as people want it. Because, you know, they have most of their members there. And the members will not like to come there. There will be no violence that day, we see. Eh? There will be no fight. But what I know is that they have members even more than the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Anambra State uh, Governor, they have members. So at the election, there might not be much turn up. Many people on the, on the, on the, on the that, that, that's all, that all I see there. I don't think that the uh, election will not be, it will hold. Because the federal government, they have their, uh, they have their parastators, they have the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the police, the army, and the, and the other things. The, uh, so, but, you know, when someone got into, go into, into his room and locked himself up, you don't have anything to, to do with the, with the guy. As I mean, so that is what I, I think they will do that there. Many people will not, will not come out. But they listen to the whole. The issue of Anambara state election is composer. There will be an election in Anambara state. Actually, it was such taking for Biafra. That is right. But it doesn't have anything to do with the election, an embarrassed state election. We must have somebody on that seat who will govern an embarrassed state for us to move forward. So if anybody is saying that there will be no election in an embarrassed state, I call it side talk. It's not for an area. Every good citizen of an embarrassed state must know that there must be a reason why we must hold election. We are Nigerian for now. We are, as far as we are Nigerian for now, we must hold the election in Anambra. So there is nothing like no election in Anambra State. So anybody that is saying that no, there is no election in Anambra State, he or she are deceiving himself. So election will hold. And uh, myself now, I'm traveling tomorrow for the election, for the preparation of the election. So there will be an election in Amber State.